My name is Carlos Silva. I'm the GIS specialist at YPR. Our big project now is doing the digital twin project. SAFE has been an integral part of that in terms of translating the products that we've gotten out of our digital twin, uh, such as LiDAR uh, of the island. And uh, we'll be working towards doing 3D stuff and also translating our data from our indoor mapping project into uh, different formats for our digital twin applications as well. So our digital twin project uh, was an uh, initiative by our IT management group uh, during COVID. Uh, as it, everyone can imagine during COVID, we were pretty quiet so at the airport and uh, we took the opportunity to sort of reimagine how we can get a handle on sort of what's happening real time at the, at the airport. Um, but the digital twin team has been involved in sort of finding out really good business cases for real time uh, work and rolled out applications on seeing where passengers flow through the airport. My piece that I've been involved with is basically providing them with a decent uh, floor plan of the terminal and surrounding areas on Sea Island. So we've been using FME really well with taking all our GIS information and translating into whatever formats that our folks uh, in IT need for the Unity project. The, the nice part about being where I am is that we're kind of in the middle of seeing where all the development happens on the island. And so we have get attached to a lot of different information silos um, and things come from different different ways. Uh, FME has been helping sort of bring those things together. And so, uh, you know, our CAD team is our source of truth when it comes to geometry <laughs> for, for different things. And then our different departments have their own sort of special IDs for all their different assets. And so we're trying to bring those two together and, and work it into a common format that, that we can use for our digital twin. Yeah. With the help of safe software and support staff, uh, we've been changing our workspaces and scripts to really uh, drive some really innovative products out of it um, and using some really cool things for them to, to use as well. So our team's developing APIs to sort of see where um, where things are in real time. Um, and they're working with maintenance and some of our operations staff to sort of see where our maintenance reports or work orders might be um, in, the, in the terminal and, and where our passengers might be at the, as, as flights arrive and depart and where our pressure points are and that sort of thing. You know, asset management's like starting to be a big thing for us. So uh, I know when I came to YVR, it was, I, I'd see the data sort of sitting around and be like, okay, well, I know that eventually somebody's going to look at that and down the road. <laughs> so I was able to prep a few things in, 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 in preparation. Um, you know, our co-op students have been great in sort of just learning the product and doing special projects on the side. And then when those things bubble up at the, at the, at our organization level, I can pull that work off the shelf and, and update it and maintain it. So uh, a lot of things like we're just, learning how many streetlights we have on Sea Island and <laughs> that sits in like three different three different formats uh, so we're pulling those together and getting a really good idea of like how many streetlights we have and what's their current structure and what's their um, you know how much are we missing from the different data silos that we have and what need updates need to be happening from different departments so yeah I would totally recommend FME to, to somebody looking for it support is great um, if you're looking to really do turn around and get a real handle on your data then FME is really the product to that that you need and usually it's usually like people are like well can you can you give it to me in this format I'm like well, well yeah I think FME can do that <laughs> so it's, it's it's really helpful that way if we didn't have FME um, I, you know, all these things would take longer. It'd be a lot of hassle just to try and get something working together. We can use different technologies like, um, you know, different like Python code or regex to sort of bring in those different things together in one, in this one software package. So I just know that in terms of like the speed and efficiency that we can do these things and have it constantly running in the background sort of just helps us move things along when, when updates do happen.